Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys today. I want to talk about XRP and the SEC, as well as the XRP spot ETF and why it is so important for the cryptocurrency space. And I'm going to give you guys my opinion on where I think XRP could be headed. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop in this video, guys. So, guys, first things first, over on Crypto Twitter, you can follow me at 333 Black C. I say the XRP spot ETF is signal for the entire cryptocurrency space. I do believe that the XRP SPY ETF will. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when the XRP SPY ETF will get launched. And I do think this is signal for the entire cryptocurrency space because first we get a Bitcoin SPY ETF. Then we get an Ethereum SPY ETF. Now, XRP SPY ETF, what comes next? Really, it doesn't really matter what comes next. The most important thing to be pulling from this is that, well, the cryptocurrency space is maturing and it's being taken more seriously. And yeah, sure, we have uh, Mudang and all these other meme coins getting launched left and right. They're all jokes. But inside of those jokes, there is serious, disruptive financial infrastructure, guys. It's very, very important that we sift through it Find the needles in the haystacks and realize that, okay, wait a second, we are actually going somewhere with this cryptocurrency space. And I do believe that this SPY ETF will get launched for XRP. And I do believe that XRP is going to perform well. I personally am not an XRP holder. Way back when in 2017, I bought XRP. I made a lot of money, guys. I made a great, great trade with XRP. I did very, very well. But I am a trader and an investor, but I treated XRP as a trade ever since the SEC got involved. I knew, I knew that XRP was going to be tried to be made an example out of by the SEC. And they've been trying for literally years, guys, literally years they've been going after XRP. And I do think that we are coming very, very close to a pivot. I do think that we're going to see this regulation get a little bit more clear. And I think that we're going to see a lot of these heavy-handed regulations and uncertainty about, is this the right thing? Am I following the rules? And these projects that are trying to grow that are just looked at underneath micro... They, they're looking underneath like... It's, it's just ridiculous. I, I, I start, I'm going to start going on a rant about it because they don't know what is right and wrong. These projects do not know what is right and wrong, what rules they are breaking and what rules they are not breaking because there's not regulatory clarity, guys. And I do think that we are very, very close, very, very close to that pivot point where regulation is going to start to lighten up. When we look at XRP right now, XRP is sitting at a very, very healthy $52.9 billion in fully diluted market cap, guys. Absolutely insane. 24-hour volume, $920 million. The entire market right now is basically trading sideways. I think a lot of people are really, really patiently waiting for October to actually initiate. I don't know who came up with October. It's kind of annoying. I don't really like saying it, but we're going to call it what everyone's calling it, the catchy buzzword of October. I think everyone's patiently waiting. I do think that you should be patiently waiting. It's not financial advice, but... Based on past Octobers, especially during election years, the cryptocurrency market performs very, very well, not in the beginning of October, but usually after about the 10th to 15th. And right now, it is only the 8th of October, guys. So let's be patient. Let's see how this plays out. And I do believe that also we could see a lot of sideways chop leading into the presidential election of the United States because I do think a lot of people are very, very uncertain about where we are going to be headed after that. And I think that the market's... If there's, there's, if there's one thing I know about the markets, they do not like uncertainty, guys. They do not like uncertainty, especially risk on assets. But right now, XRP is holding up well. It's holding up well. They filed for spot ETFs. It was declined, guys. It was declined. And now we're waiting for basically these XRP ETFs to get appealed, and they're appealing. Guys, it's like I said, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Like you can see, there's XRP ETFs getting filed left and right from many, many different companies. And maybe we just need to wait for BlackRock to step in and say, hey, guys, we want an XRP ETF. And then the next day it will be launched. You know how that works. Very, very interesting. Um, I'll almost call it nepotism almost with BlackRock. When BlackRock comes to play, 
Uh, but Big Daddy comes to play, then everyone else is allowed to do it. As long as Big Daddy's first. It's just funny how that works out. But, guys, we need to be patient. If you're an XRP holder, you need to be patient. And if you believe that XRP is going to be going to the moon, you need to be patient because I do believe that this SPY ETF will get approved. If you look at the XRP price, like I said, we're holding up relatively well, you know. I am surprised. i am be honest with you guys. I am surprised that XRP has held up this well throughout these years. Like I said, I've been in the cryptocurrency space for nearly a decade now. And XRP, I was worried. You know, at first I was very bullish. I said, oh, the, the narrative was it's going to be the banker's coin. But the SEC came in. And I really did believe that they wanted to make an example out of XRP. And they tried. They tried. And guess what, guys? They have failed. They have failed. And we're going to be paying very, very close attention to how XRP plays out now because, guys, it's held up very, very well throughout these years of constant court battles, constant, never-ending court battles. Maybe one day they'll finally be out of court. I like to joke around about it because it does seem like every day there's an article saying that the XRP, the Ripple case, it's over, it's over. I've been seeing so many articles about that. I'm not trying to FUD or anything like that, but it's just the truth. I like to be transparent here on the Crypto Report and tell you guys how I see things in this market. I look at this market every single day. I've been doing it for years just to tell you how I see it, guys. I want to be transparent. But guys, if you do believe that XRP is coiling up, because I'm going to be honest, this, I like how this formation is looking here. It looks like it's getting pinched and it's getting ready for a big breakout. And we're talking on the weekly time frame, so it should be quite an explosive move. If you guys believe that XRP is going to be going to the moon, then please check out in the description box below and in the pinned comment. We have a $5,000 sign-in bonus to Blowfin and a $4,100 sign-in bonus to Femex. All you get is click those links, deposit a little bit of money, and trade a little bit. You get a bunch of free money, guys. And you can take advantage of some fantastic leverage trading tools. You can trade XRP if you think XRP is going to the moon and you want more exposure. You can long XRP on Blowfin. Please leverage trade your own risk, guys. It is very, very risky, but it is a very, very useful tool. So where is Bitcoin right now? Bitcoin is trading at $62,000, down about a percent on the day. Bitcoin dominance, basically that where we were at yesterday. Like I said, I, I really do think that we're in for some sideways chop until the end of October and until after the U.S. election on November 5th, the beginning of November. We're not that far away, guys, but I do expect explosive moves in cryptocurrency, guys. I really do. Today was quite a day in the traditional market. It performed very, very well. I do expect to see some big, big moves with crypto. Like I said, after the 15th of October and after the first week of November, I do expect some big moves, guys. We need to be paying very, very close attention to that. Bitcoin dominance trade at 56.7%. It excludes stable coins. Basically 59%. Slowly coming down. I think it's topped out at about 60% unless Bitcoin makes that big move above, say, $70,000. If we start to see that impulse wave and that test of previous highs on Bitcoin, then I'll say, okay, probably going to absorb some of this. Bitcoin's probably going to absorb some of this liquidity and all coins are going to get punished for a little bit until Bitcoin decides to cool off at new all-time highs. New all-time highs, guys. And then we'll see altcoins really, really make some big, big moves. Like I said, when you look at Bitcoin on the daily, it's looking pretty bullish. Seeing a little bit of a red candle today, but not much has happened today, honestly, for Bitcoin on the daily. But when you look at the weekly, this is really the bread and butter that I've been looking at, guys. I mean, we have are trading sideways on it. We have a green dot on market cipher on the momentum wave. You're seeing money flowing, curl, money flow curling up. Things look pretty good. And, you know, um, a lot of times the majority of the bottoms in October happen before the 10th, guys. We're on the 8th. we got two more days before the probability really leans in the bull's favors here. And uh, I do think that we're already somewhat there. I do expect the risk is to the upside here. But, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that the XRP SPY ETF will get appealed and approved? And when do you think it will be approved? I'm very, very curious on what the XRP Army has to say about an XRP spot ETF. Very, very curious about that. But that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. 